Weatherproofing America here again today. Drove by this house, caught my attention, I had to stop. Just got done raining. Perfect example of things that we see often uh, when it comes to proper garage installation. One thing I wanna point out right here, easy to notice, wood touching the concrete. This concrete in the slab in the garage is the same level as the concrete in the driveway. Typically you want to have a step down if possible on the driveway to the garage. But if you notice here, this wood being right on the concrete, when you pull a, a car in this garage that's wet or filled with snow in the winter time, when it melts, all this water is going to be inside this garage and, it, and hopefully it's sloped the right way because I'm getting ready to show you another problem over here going toward the house. But if this concrete sloped that way, this water is going to come to this wood and it's gonna soak it up. And eventually, even though this is treated, which everybody thinks kind of like zip board, treated lumber is magic and it just doesn't rot and things like that. But I got news for you, it really does. And it doesn't take long. Uh, but they think that this treated lumber is doing something for them. What should be done here is a concrete elevation and then the wood touching a concrete, uh, like a, a quarter of a block or pour it with your slab as a monolithic part to stub that concrete up so that when the water hits the garage floor and comes to that, it doesn't contact wood members. When we come over here toward the house, this is a, gonna be hopefully not a big issue for this homeowner, but has the potential to be disastrous. As you can see, this wood here of the wall inside, the interior wall, is touching the concrete here that is the same level as this, the garage. So if this concrete is flat or if it's sloped even slightly toward the inside of the house, the water's gonna go right underneath this, this bottom plate and it's gonna go inside the house. Not to mention the fact that it's gonna rot this wood out. So not sure what the builder's thinking here, why they did it this way, but it's a big no-no. Uh, more information or if you need some advice or help, visit us, weatherproofingamerica.com.